Let's install Windows Admin Center on a Windows 2019 server. So I'm going to go to a Google search and type in Windows Admin Center. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Windows Admin Center Download. And here it is at aka.ms. It automatically just starts to download the file. I'm going to choose to save it rather than run it in case I need to ever run it again for anything or run a repair. And now I'll choose to open the folder. Next, we simply just double click on it and run through the installation. A simple wizard starts up and you can choose whether or not to update it. And we'll just continue choosing next. Now, if you don't check the box that says to modify the machine's trusted hosts, you may have trouble getting into it. You'll have to go manually do that in the uh, control panel later. I'm going to click Next, choose 443, and Install. Now, if you already have IIS installed on this particular server, and it's bound to port 443 for another certificate, then you're going to need to change that port either on the website or on the Windows Admin Center website. Otherwise, they won't work well together. So we just open up Server Manager, go to Tools, and go to IIS. And we can see we do have WSUS on this particular server. So we can go to Bindings and double check to make sure we don't see 443, and we don't. I will go to the default website. And we'll do the same thing, and we don't see 443, so we should be fine. Otherwise, you just simply double-click on that particular port and just change it from 443 to 444, and then everything will work fine. So we'll close that, check on our installation. Looks like it's just about done. And we see now that our installation is complete. Instead of clicking Finish, let's just go ahead and click on the URL that will get us into our new Windows Admin Center. Now we need to log in using our domain backslash administrator user. And we see that the Edge browser is not capable of doing this. So we need to download and install Firefox or Chrome. And it's really interesting that it says we should use a modern browser like Microsoft Edge, which is exactly what we're doing. So we're installing Firefox and we'll get right back in. I've pasted in the URL. We get a warning because it is a self-signed certificate. And we'll just go ahead and click Accept the Risk and log in once again. And here we are in Windows Admin Center. The great thing about this tool is it allows us to add as many different servers as we'd like. Now, you can't install this on a domain controller. However, you can control a domain controller. So if I click on File Server, which is the name of the server that we're currently on, it is going to connect to our file server with all of these different tools. And these tools, they just keep getting more and more every month. So you're going to be able to do more and more using this particular product than you did even a few months ago. So let's go back to our list of servers and let's add in our domain controller. So you can see we have the option to add in Azure, Windows PC or Windows Server Cluster. So I'll go ahead and add in our domain controller, which is called DC1. It's going to search for it, make sure it's there. I'm going to choose to use my same account that I used to log in here and click Add with Credentials. And a lot of times this happens. It says, hey, you can't get in using the credentials you used to log into the site. So you got to go back in and put in the same username and password that you typed in already and click Add with Credentials. And there's our server. So we'll click on that. It's going to connect. And now we have the same access that we have to our local server. So you can add as many servers as you like, customize it the way you want to, and you get a lot of really great information. So I'm going to do a series of videos on the different things that you can do with the Windows Admin Center. And we just wanted to start out by just showing you how to do the installations and a couple of the bugs that we found along the way. So check out the playlist and you'll see a lot more that you can do with Windows Admin Center.